What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 26.0.1 to the general public just a couple of weeks after the release of iOS 26. Now along with this update, we got iPadOS 26.0.1, macOS Tahoe 26.0.1, watchOS 26.0.2, HomePod and tvOS version 26.0.1, along with VisionOS 26.0.1. But of course, in this video, we are talking all about iOS 26.0.1. Starting off with the size of the update, as you can see, it came in just under one gigabyte on my iOS 26 device, which is the iPhone 17 Pro. Of course, that size will vary, and it will be very large if you're coming from a beta. So let's go ahead and check out the build number. So if we head into our settings and go into general about 26.0.1, one, we can see that the new build number is 23A355. And if we go down to take a look at the modem firmware, that is now 1.00.05 on the iPhone 17 series. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 26.0.1? And the thing you need to know about this update and really any double point update is that it's mainly going to be bug fixes only. You're not really gonna see any type of new features or changes that you can visually see. You're just gonna see a lot of changes and a lot of bug fixes, security, patches, things like that. So there are a lot of issues when the iPhone 17 first released. So this is aiming to fix a lot of those and also just a lot of issues with the initial release of iOS 26.0. So the first thing is related to the iPhone 17 lineup along with the iPhone Air. And that is that we now have a fix for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So a lot of users had issues with disconnections from Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on the iPhone 17 and the iPhone Air model. So if you had that issue, just know that should be fixed here with iOS 26.0.1. And then we also have another bug fix related to connectivity, but this time it's related to connecting to a cellular network after updating to iOS 26, regardless of the device you're on. So it says a small number of iPhone users may be unable to connect to a cellular network after updating to iOS 26. That may have been more of an issue overseas since I didn't see too many people having that issue in the US, but if you did have that, just know that's also been resolved. Now we also have a really important bug fix here related to the camera because with iOS 26.0.1, it fixes the issue where if you take a photo with the iPhone 17 series, so iPhone 17, 17 Pro, or iPhone Air, there would be these weird artifacts under certain lighting conditions that would show up in the photos. So if you ever notice that, you know, those should be resolved now. You should not be seeing random artifacts in your photos anymore when you take them on iOS 26, specifically on the new iPhone models. This update also patches a bug that you guys have called out in the comment section on some of my previous videos because it says, app icons may appear blank after adding a custom tint. So that's an issue I had in one of my videos and people called it out, but now that has been fixed. So if you go into your home screen here and you go to edit and then to customize, and then you go to tinted right here and you choose a custom tint, like based on your wallpaper or something like that, that is where you could see issues where the app icons just appear blank and it's not you know the tint that you have set. But as you can see now, it's working properly for me on 26.0.1, even though that was an issue on 26.0. There's also a pretty important bug fix for voiceover. So a lot of people really rely on voiceover on the iPhone. And that was kind of broken after iOS 26 because it says voiceover may become disabled for some users after updating to iOS 26. So of course the bug fix means that that's not gonna happen anymore. It's not gonna just randomly disable even though you usually have it turned on. So it wasn't really breaking it, but it was just disabling it by default even when you had it enabled previously. And something that's not mentioned in the release notes, but I would imagine is going to be kind of a byproduct of this update is going to be potential battery life fixes. So I don't think this is going to be a major fix for like battery drain or anything like that. But if you were having issues with battery life on iOS 26.0, you could see some minor improvements here with 26.0.1, just because you might not have as many, you know, disconnections from Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You may not have the issues with your cellular network, you know, you're just not gonna have as many bugs. So that could potentially lead to better battery life. And of course, we should see better performance as well. Some of those other, you know, kind of just kinks in 26 worked out with this update, even though it's only a double point update and not the big 26.1 update that we're expecting later. Now, I should also mention that there is a security patch for these 26.0.1 updates. And you can see here from Apple's website, they're about the security content. It shows there's a font parser bug that was patched. So the impact was processing a maliciously crafted font 
may lead to unexpected app termination or corrupt process memory. So very interesting. And the description was an out of bounds write issue was addressed with improved bounds checking. Now, as far as performance goes, you can see I did run a fresh Geekbench 6 test right here. So you can see what we scored on the CPU benchmark. Now, I would not expect any major changes to performance with this update because again, typically this is just going to be a bug fix update. You know, it could come as a byproduct that we see some minor performance improvements, but I would not expect anything major, especially since Apple did not mention anything like that in the release notes. And the same type of thing goes for the battery life. As I mentioned earlier, you could expect maybe a potential minor update to battery life, if at all, just because some of those other bugs might be fixed, which could in turn lead to better battery life. But don't expect this to be the big, you know, update that fixes everybody's battery drain issues. But it might, I don't know, you guys let me know in a comment down below if you notice that this update did resolve some of your battery life woes that you had on 26.0. Okay, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So next up is most likely going to be iOS 26.1, unless we get a 26.0.2 update. So we could see a 26.0.2 update for some more security patches and some more bug fixes at some point in October, but I would expect to see the next big release sometime in late October, and that's going to be iOS 26.1, which has already started in beta. So we should see that near the end of October, and we might be seeing an Apple event sometime around October, November as well, or at least new products. So it could kind of coincide with that. We'll have to wait and see, but that is what I would expect for now. We should be seeing the second beta of iOS 26.1 one very soon as well. And by the way, just know that if you are on 26.1 beta right now, you will not receive this 26.0.1 updates because you're already on a version higher than 26.0.1. And I've also had people ask me, does the 26.1 beta one updates include all the fixes that we see here in iOS 26.0.1? And my answer to that is no, this is most likely built, you know, this is most likely compiled after the fact. So beta two of iOS 26.1 might contain all the fixes that you see in 26.0.1. If not, beta three will for sure, but they might even be included in beta two. So with all that being said, should you update to iOS 26.0.1? And I would say absolutely. If you have an iPhone 17, it's a must because you could have artifacts in your photos, you know, so that's a pretty big deal. You do not want that. So absolutely, if you're on an iPhone 17 or iPhone Air, but also just for those on iOS 26.0 who had issues, you might want to go and update. And then also for those who stayed on iOS 18 because they heard about all the issues with iOS 26, you might want to just jump on board now so that some of the bug fixes have been addressed. Now, of course, there will still be bugs. You know, it is a brand new redesign with liquid glass and everything like that, but it is still a start and it should be a bit more stable than 26.0. So that is iOS 26.0.1 and everything new for the iPhone. So if you notice the setup looking different, this is my travel setup. So I'm not in my current location at my office. So I apologize for the lackluster video quality and audio quality. I am actually recording this entire video on on the iPhone Air. So even if iOS 26.1 beta 2 comes out, it will most likely be in a similar setup as you see here. So it's just temporary. Don't worry. I still have my main studio with the good quality lighting and everything like that. So that's not going anywhere. This is just temporary. But I wanted to make sure to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible because it is a pretty important update.